Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're continuing the iPhone series and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up and use personal hotspot with your iOS device. Let's get started. All right, so for those of you who don't know what personal hotspot is, it's basically a feature that's going to allow you to share your cellular data with other devices. For example, my iPhone has a great data plan. I can share that internet with my Android device, my laptop, my iPad, and pretty much any device I want. So what we wanna do first is tap on our settings application, and you'll notice that I have personal hotspot listed. Now, traditionally, at least in North America, you should see it this way, but if you don't, you can find this feature in your cellular tab. You can see that we have personal hotspot right here, and you also may need to configure your cellular data options. Now, if you are missing this feature, I have another video that'll go over some fixes, including setting this up. There's a link in the description for that one. But for most of us, what we're gonna do is tap on our personal hotspot tab here, and this is how it's going to look. Now there's three options to connect. You can use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or connect using a USB. I'm gonna go through the Wi-Fi one first as it's the easiest. So what we wanna do is set up our Wi-Fi password. It's very simple. We'll tap Wi-Fi password and we'll enter a password in. Very similar to like if you were connecting to somebody's Wi-Fi, you'd have to put in a password. So your phone's gonna act as that connection Anybody who wants to connect to your phone is going to need to put this password in. So make sure it's secure. Tap done. And then you wanna turn your personal hotspot on. So it's as simple as tapping here. If you see it green, that means it's on. Anytime you wanna disconnect, you can just turn it off by tapping it off. But once you're connected, anybody can connect to you as long as they have that Wi-Fi password. So let's go over to another device now and we'll get it connected to our iPhone. So I have my Android device right here. As I mentioned earlier, you can do this with any device that can connect to, let's say a Wi-Fi connection for this scenario here. And what you wanna do is just open up your Wi-Fi settings. So if you're using an Android device, just go into your network settings. If you're using your computer, find where this setting is where you can connect to any Wi-Fi networks. Now you can see in this network here, there's one called Dan's iPhone. Now the name of your iPhone is actually what's going to be used as the name of the network. And you can see that it does tell you on the Wi-Fi section on your iPhone, choose, and it says Dan's iPhone from the Wi-Fi settings on your computer or other devices. So it's making it really simple for you. So we'll tap on that network there. It's going to ask us for the password. Now the password we're gonna be using is this one right here, test pass. We'll put that in. And then we'll tap connect. And now you can see that this device is connected. Now you'll notice on your iPhone that you'll have a blue sort of icon over the time. And this is so you know that somebody is connected through your personal hotspot. Also make sure you're monitoring this. Don't forget that it's on because the person who is connected is literally using your data. So whatever they're doing is gonna burn through your data plan. So that's as simple as it is. I'll just show you that now we can actually use things like we'll go into YouTube here and we can open up a video, let's just say this one. And we're connected. Now I don't wanna get any copyright, so we'll turn that off right there, but you can see that it does work. It's very simple, and as long as you're in range of this network, you'll be able to connect and use that connection. Now as I mentioned earlier, on your iPhone, if you wanna turn it off, for example, you can stay connected and still use your device, doing whatever you may wanna do, surfing the internet and things like that as well, and to quickly access your personal hotspot, just tap at the top and you'll see it'll open it up for you. You can turn it off and that way they'll be disconnected. Now this second method is the Bluetooth method and it's great, especially if you're trying to save some battery life. However, you're gonna sacrifice some internet speeds. Now again, you can connect this with an iPad, a tablet, a laptop, whatever you want. I'm gonna show you again with my Android device, but it works fairly similar with any device you're working with. So from our iPhone, we want to turn on our personal hotspot again. And this time, rather than going into my Wi-Fi settings, you can see I have them turned off on my Android device, I'm gonna tap on my Bluetooth option here. We want to pair our iPhone with whatever device we're working with. So I'm just gonna tap here, rarely used, that's just where it goes. And I'm gonna tap Dan's iPhone. Once it begins pairing, you'll see that you'll get prompted on both devices. You wanna make sure that you pair them on both, so we'll tap pair, and you wanna match up these numbers as well. If they're the same, tap pair, 
tap pair there as well. And that's going to connect the two devices. Now I'm gonna tap on the back option here. You'll see that now in my paired devices that I have my iPhone. And at this point, you may or may not have to go through a few other options. Now, for example, you may have to go into your Wi-Fi settings on some devices and then even pair it and connect it with that name again. So your iPhone's name, you may or may not. For this device here, I don't have to, so I can open up my browser here. You'll notice that it does go a little bit slower. Let's just uh, go to YouTube. And you see it takes quite a while uh, on the Bluetooth just to access it and load. It's much slower, but it is going to save you a little bit of battery life. Once again, on your iPhone, you'll notice the blue at the top. You can completely disconnect this Bluetooth connection by turning it off like that as well. Now the final option is to connect using your USB. So this is going to be your lightning cable. So I'm gonna simply connect it to my computer and connect the other end of the lightning cable to my iPhone. I'll have to look at it like this. Now once you're connected, as long as your personal hotspot is turned on, you can start surfing the internet. It may take about 10, 15 seconds, but you can see I can search the internet here. And it's very simple. It does go a little bit slower than the Wi-Fi connection, but it is faster than Bluetooth. And this method here is not only going to save you battery, but it's going to be charging your phone at the same time. Now, just to show you, I'm gonna open my network settings here on my computer. I'm actually not connected to Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is turned off, but if I open my network preferences, this is the option that I can see on my Mac. You can see that it says iPhone USB is currently active and has the IP address blocked out, but that's what it shows right there. So you can see that I'm connected through the USB. Now, when it comes to choosing which one of these options to use, here's some pros and cons with each of them. Starting with the Wi-Fi, this is my personal favorite. I like it because it's easy. It's simple to connect on any device through the Wi-Fi connection and you're secure with a password. The downside is that it burns through your battery fairly quickly. The second option is my least favorite. It's the Bluetooth method. It's a little bit tedious to get connected to as different devices will show up differently and it may be hard to pair it with some of them as well. And sometimes the device has to be paired and then connected through the Wi-Fi network as well. So you have to go through a lot more of a process to get connected. And lastly, I find it to be very slow in terms of connection speeds. On the plus side, it's not gonna burn through as much battery as the Wi-Fi connection. The last option, the USB method. Now this is a great method for a few reasons. For starters, it gave me decent speeds. I, for some reason, didn't get as good speeds as my Wi-Fi, but some people report better or the same. I also found that it's great because it charges your device as you're using it. And third, it's very simple to connect. All I had to do was plug it in and I was connected. Now I'm using a Mac. If you're using Windows or other devices, you may have to go through a little bit of configuration, but that again is give or take here and there. As for downsides, you have to carry a cable around, so that's more things to lose or not have with you when you need it. And secondly, because you're connected through the USB and it's charging your phone, it's going to drain the battery of your laptop a little bit quicker. So that is pretty much it. That's how you set up and use the personal hotspot on your iOS device. Those were the three methods. Just choose the one that best fits your situation or the one you like best. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box down below. I'm happy to help you out. And I mentioned earlier that there's a video in the description box. So if you did follow these steps today and you're having some issues, check out that video. It'll go over some common fixes depending on the situation you're in. Maybe you don't have the option or it's not available with your carrier. We'll go through that and hopefully get that hotspot working for you. And I also have the full playlist to all the iPhone videos in the description. So if you wanna get the most out of your iOS device, definitely check out the full playlist in the description box as well. And lastly, we're coming up to 100,000 subscribers and I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a whole bunch of stuff, including a Google Home Mini. And that's gonna be involved either in a live stream or in a dedicated video. So if you want to take part in that, you need to be subscribed to the channel. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so it notifies you as soon as I post that video and you have the best chance at winning because I'm gonna probably do an early bird giveaway for the first few people that come in right away. So definitely take part in that. You have your best chance at winning. 
And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.